So in today's video, I'll show you how to unbox and set up the HP DeskJet 2755 on a Mac. I also have separate videos on how to set it up on a Windows computer and a mobile device. So feel free to check those videos out. And I'll also have a separate review video for this printer. So if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to subscribe so you're notified when that review is uploaded. And if you're looking to buy yourself the HP DeskJet 2755, I'll leave a link right below the video so to start off i've opened the box up to see what's inside and the first thing you'll find is the quick start guide and hopefully you won't need this because i'll be walking you step by step through the entire setup process and next you have the power cable and then you'll find the two cartridges and last but not least some marketing documentation let's also get rid of this piece of cardboard so we can get to the printer lay the box out on a flat table or surface and then pull the printer out onto the table or surface and once you've done that you'll notice that there is another reference guide and some other documentation and as you can see i've removed the cardboard end caps and the plastic film covering the printer and there's a few more pieces of packing tape to remove let's start with this piece on top to get to it let's open up the front cover then open up the inner cartridge cover and then pull the piece of blue tape with the attached piece of cardboard out of the compartment next you want to open up the scan bed and remove the piece of clear packing tape that is on the scan bed peel that off and now you're going to plug one end of the power cable into the back of the printer plug the other end into a power outlet power the printer on by pressing the power button and wait for the printer to boot up and now it's time to install the cartridges now i've removed their outer plastic pack Packaging. However, I still need to remove these pieces of protective tape that are on their print heads by pulling down on those orange tabs. Do that for both cartridges, then open the front cover, then open the inner cartridge cover, and you'll notice that the cartridge tray then slides into view. Now you're going to insert the cartridges with the tricolor cartridge going into the left tray. Push it in till it snaps into place, then insert the black cartridge into the tray on the right. Push it in till it snaps into place, then close the inner cover, and you can can leave the outer cover open for now and if your cartridges were installed correctly you'll notice that the cartridge level indicators now show full cartridges now it's time to load paper into the paper tray to open the paper tray pull up on this plastic flap and angle it backwards with this gray flap held open slide the paper guide all the way to the left insert a few sheets of paper into the paper tray and then push the blue paper guide slightly inwards so the paper aligns correctly and that's pretty much all the setup that we can do on the printer itself. The rest of the setup has to be done on a computer or mobile device. And now I'm going to show you how to set it up on a Mac. To do that, we're going to go into the App Store. So find your App Store icon either in your dock or in your launch pad. So I'm going to go into the launch pad and find my App Store. Click on that. Then go into the search bar on the top left hand corner. Click there and then type in HP Smart. Hit enter and you'll notice you will find the HP Smart for Desktop app. You want to click the get button and it begins to download the app. Give it a few seconds and once it's done downloading, click open to open the app up. So once the app opens up and you've accepted all the terms and conditions and you've clicked skip to get to the home page, it's time to add this printer. So click on the add printer option and then you'll notice that it has found the printer we're looking to install, which is the HP DeskJet 2700 series. Click set up and then it says that it is time to connect, set up and manage your HP printer. Click continue and then it wants to automatically access your Wi-Fi password. This is the Wi-Fi network that your computer is currently connected to. I usually don't use this because this can be clunky at times so I'm going to click no thanks and then enter the Wi-Fi password manually and then click connect and wait for it to connect the printer to our our Wi-Fi network and now it asks you to press the flashing information button on your printer which is what I'm going to do and on the page that follows it lets you know that your printer is now connected to your home Wi-Fi network click continue it then gives you this little pop-up message that says success printer installed 
you can now print to this printer. Click OK. It then takes you back to the home page where you can now see that our printer is installed and ready for use. And that's all the setup that you need to do. This printer is now ready to use. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I will have separate videos on how to set this printer up on a Windows computer and mobile devices. So feel free to check those out. And as I also mentioned, I will be doing a full review of this printer. So stay tuned for that. If you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe to stay tuned for that full review and if you're already subscribed please make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified as soon as that review is uploaded thanks for watching and see you next time